Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Lee. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video today. Now today we are back with a brand that is quickly becoming one of my favorites and that is Parade. Parade recently launched their very first ever swim collection so of course I had to get a few pieces and we will try them on and review them today. I have the first one on under the robe and I will say it is a lot sexier than I was expecting. I thought it was going to be like cutesy swimsuits and that is not what I got, at least not the first one. I tried Parade for the first time in 2022 and I really, really liked them. This is a company that is built around sustainability and really cares about sustainable practices and producing things ethically. I also really like that every single time you make a purchase, you can choose a charitable organization to donate a portion of of your purchase too, which I think is really nice and a great touch. I have a few bodysuits from Parade that I wear constantly. I just wore the thermal leggings from them last weekend and I wear their underwear all the time. So I am excited to see how the swimwear compares and if I like it, if I think it's good. Parade also just released their first ever like real bras. Previously, they've only ever had bralettes. So I will be reviewing those in an upcoming video as well. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see that video also. Now in terms of pricing, I purchased two different one-piece swimsuits that are very, very wildly different, but I'm excited for you to see them. And both of them were $96. So I would consider that to be very much on the upper end of swimsuits, very, very expensive. Now obviously it is important to keep in mind that they are trying to build fully sustainable swimsuits. These ones are made using recycled plastic bottles, so that will increase the cost a little bit but I do still think that that is pretty expensive when you can get decent one piece from somewhere like Aerie or Old Navy for a fraction of the cost. For shipping, I would say it only took about a week for me to receive the items, which I think is reasonable given that they're coming from the US. And duties are covered in the shipping price, so you do not have to pay duties and you are not going to get stuck with an unexpected charge when the items arrive at your door, which I really like. Now, I did purchase all of the items that I'm going to show you today with my own money. These were not gifted in any way, but I do have a parade discount code for you. If you want to use it, I will have it on the screen here and down in the description box. So if you do choose to make a purchase using that code, you will save 20% and I also receive a small commission. If that makes you uncomfortable, please don't feel like you have to use it, and if you do use it, thank you very much. And with that, let's get right into the first swimsuit and hope and pray that YouTube does not take this video down because I know it's a little bit much in the bust, and this is the first one. So this is the perfect plunge one piece. Obviously, it came in a few different colors, but I chose this very dark red. Now, I got a size medium in both both suits and based on this one I wonder if I should have got a large just for more bust room because it's very very small triangle over the boobs and I definitely am spilling out of it a little bit I would only wear this swimsuit if I was on like a cute vacation with my husband or with a group of my friends this is not a swimsuit that I would ever wear to my mother-in-law's pool, if you know what I mean. Now, obviously you can see the front is very deep plunging. I have like side boob, front boob, it's all a little bit out. <laughs> <laughs> There's obviously also no support and because these are so small, they're just mushing my boobs to my body. So I actually think that it doesn't look very flattering, but obviously that is in the eye of the beholder. Some people will love how this looks. It's just not for me. Now the front is quite high cut. I like how the bottom looks. Like if this came up a little bit further and the rest of it stayed exactly the same. I think I would like this a lot. I think that it is the perfect amount of being high cut. The straps are nice and stretchy, but obviously that doesn't help anything because there's just not enough fabric here to cover anything. I initially had pasties on and I had to take them off because they were wider than these triangles. So I think that it's cute. I think that it looks good on, but it's way too much 
bust for me. And the back is incredibly cheeky. If you are somebody that does not like a cheeky bottom, this is not the one for you. It is almost like a thong on me and it's super low back at the top, which I don't mind that, that's fine. But the fact that it is basically a thong plus the super crazy cleavage means that this is 100% a no from me. I will probably have to like resell this to somebody because I just know that I won't wear it. And I do want to be very clear that I actually do think that the swimsuit itself is nice. I think it feels like it's high quality. It is double lined, so it's not gonna go see through or anything. The straps, feel really good. They are a little bit stretchy. They feel comfortable. The suit is laying really flat. I'm not finding that it's flipping over or doing anything that cheaper suits tend to do. And it feels thick and really, really nice. It's just, I personally know that I will not be comfortable having like this much on display. Like I want to be able to swim and like do stuff in the water. And I know for a fact that I would lose a whole boob. It would just be out of here in a second. If I move too much, it's gonna be out. So in general, I would say it is true to size. However, if you have a bigger bust, probably size up. The straps are adjustable, so you would be able to make these shorter, but hopefully the larger size will give you a little bit more space. I also hope that maybe someday Parade will consider doing plus cup sizes for their swimsuits. I know that they have that for their bralettes, and I've found that that works really well because there's definitely not enough room in this suit for a larger bust. All right, next up we have what from the front I'm sure looks like a bikini. It is not. So this is a one piece that is fully attached at the back and then from the front looks like a two piece with this split orange and pink color and then the back is red. I thought this was very unique and of all of the options that they were doing in this first swim drop, this is definitely the only one that I was like, wow, I've never seen anything like that before. I should try it out. Now, I don't think that this is going to be everybody's style, but as somebody who tries many, many swimsuits every single year, more often than not, every single place is selling the exact same two or three bikini options, one plunging deep V one piece, and and that's it. And maybe they have cool patterns. Maybe they just have black, pink, red, like your standard colors. But seeing something that's like, wow, I've literally never seen that before in my life is rare. So I did decide to give it a go and I like it. Like I said, I know that not everybody is going to love this. It's very, very unique and different, but it does feature a fairly high cut bottom. This one has way, way more coverage than the last one. So if you are looking for a more like full coverage one piece, I would say this is a good one to try out. The front comes up on me about my belly button. Keep in mind, I'm only five foot one. So if you are very tall, this might come up a little bit shorter, but I do think think that the height of it is fine. I like a high-waisted bottom, so just make sure that you're okay with that when you order this. Now the top on this, I would say, is still slightly too small for me. I do have a little bit of like under boob under here, like trying to poke out, and it's definitely like quite a bit of pressure on my neck with this little tie, but no more so than like a typical triangle cut bikini. Like it feels very similar to that. And the back basically just looks like you're wearing a one piece that is a like bandeau style top which I think is cool. Like depending which direction people see you from first, it's going to look like very, very different. And this suit looks different from literally every side. And I like that. Now, once again, in terms of quality, everything feels nice. It feels like a very good bathing suit. I would say that it feels better than the ones that I have from Old Navy, but probably similar to American Eagle. In general, I would say, I don't know that they're worth $96. That is a very expensive price, but I would have felt happy paying like maybe $60 or $70 for this one piece. I do think that a hundred is a bit of a stretch. Now, when I ordered these swimsuits, it was on the first day that they came out. So they were running a promotion where you got a free sarong with your order. And they quite often do this. They'll have like, you get a free mystery pair of underwear, 
or a free sweater or different things just depending on the time of year. But this is the sarong. I must say personally, I would not want to wear this as a sarong. Like I'm probably gonna reach for something that's like one solid color and this is like only printed on one side. So the other side is just like plain and you can kind of see through to the design. This is not what I would imagine as a sarong. But once again, it was free. It's not like I paid for this. I think you could buy it on their website for like $20. I would never do that personally. But I just feel like as a sarong, this for me is a bit too busy. It's not the type of thing that I would ever wear. I could see maybe if you were significantly younger, like if you were in high school or maybe even a little bit younger than that and you get a swimsuit and you're gonna wear like this little thing over top, fine. I can't imagine very many people over the age of like 16 are going to wear this to a pool or to the beach. It's also made of like a satin material that just clings to your legs. Like, I don't know if you can see that it's just, if I pull it away, it comes back and just like statics to me. So not the best material. Once again, it was free. I didn't buy it, but I could see somebody being very disappointed if they did buy it. You can see it's like sticking to my arm with the static. Cool magic trick, but maybe not the best sarong. So overall, I would say my thoughts on Parade Swim for a very first launch, and that is something we need to keep in mind, it's good. I think it's a little bit overpriced, but the swimsuits themselves are good. I feel like that first swimsuit needs to have adjustable cup sizes because there's no way that's gonna work. Like I wear around a 34 double D. If you're bigger than that, I don't know how you wear that without your nipple actually being like exposed <laughs> because those little triangles are so small. This one, like I said, very unique, very different. I will actually wear this one. I think that it's nice. I also think the colors on this one are probably brighter in person than they are on video because it does tend to dull everything down a little bit, but it is fluorescent highlighter colors, which I think is fun. Now, if you have any questions, definitely let me know. Also be sure to let me know if you have tried anything from Parade before, but especially if you've tried any of their swimwear and how you liked it. I obviously did not try any of the bikinis this time, and that is literally just because I felt like they were very similar to every other bikini that I have. As somebody that does try a lot of stuff, I can't justify buying like multiple versions of the exact same thing, and that's what I felt like the bikinis were. But if you have tried them, I would love to know your thoughts, how you liked them, and like always, be sure to let me know which swimsuit you like the best. Obviously, Obviously, I only like this one. The other one just does not work for me. And with that, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you have a fabulous week and that I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.